Hello, my name is Lauren Fowler, and I am the Academic Counsel for the Health Professions Program at Vernon Community College. Today, I will be discussing with you some of the entrance requirements and admissions process for our two-year degree health profession program and one-year certificate program. Applying to the health profession program at Bergen Community College. So starting with an overview, admissions to the health profession programs is limited to a specific number of candidates. For example, the nursing day program approximately accepts only 90 students each year. There are strict application deadlines. If you do not adhere to the application deadline and you send your materials after the deadline has passed, you will not be permitted to move forward in the admissions process. There are admissions eligible GPA requirements. You must at least meet those minimum GPA requirements, but always suggested to strive for much higher. There is a specific course sequence. If you are admitted to one of the health profession programs, you will be following the course sequence. There are clinical components to our health profession program. You will be expected to complete a certain amount of hours under strict supervision. There is a set time for degree completion. As I mentioned, we have two year degree program and one year certificate program. Lastly, upon your graduation, you will complete either board or certification exam. Now, going into the health professions associate degree program, starting with the nursing program. For the nursing program, we have a nursing day and a nursing evening program. For the nursing day program, the application opens every year on October 15th, and the deadline to apply is February 1st. This is a fall admission program. All of your prerequisite courses must be completed prior to the application deadline of February 1st. There is a GPA for admissions eligibility, which is 2.5. For your prerequisite courses, the first, Math 040, that is basic algebra. This is a remedial level course. Bio 109, which is anatomy and physiology 1, and you have a choice between either Chemistry 100, which is Intro to Chemistry, or M112, which is College Chemistry. Again, all science courses and all prerequisites need to be completed before the application deadline. Your science courses, more specifically, must be completed within the past five years. For the Nursing Evening Program, the application opens on July 15th, and the deadline to apply is October 1st. This is a spring admission program. The GPA for admission to eligibility is also a 2.5. For your prerequisite courses, there are a few more in the Nursing Day program, so I will go through each one carefully. Starting with Math 040, again, that is your basic algebra course. Bio 109 is Anatomy and Physiology 1. Bio 209 is Anatomy and Physiology 2. You have a choice between Chemistry 100 or Chemistry 112. Again, Chemistry 100 is Intro to Chemistry. Chemistry 112 is College Chemistry. Social 101 is Introduction to Sociology. Psych 106 is Developmental Psychology or Lifespan. Writing 101 is English Composition 1, and Writing 201 is English Composition 2. All prerequisite courses must be completed before the application deadline of October 1st. And again, your sciences must be completed within the past five years. For the next two programs, Diagnostic Medical Sonography and Dental Hygiene. For the Diagnostic Medical Sonography program, the application opens on October 15th, and the deadline to apply is February 1st. This is also a fall admission program. The GPA for admissions eligibility is a 2.5. Your prerequisite courses, as I mentioned before, need to be completed prior to the application deadline of February 1st. For the DMS program, your prerequisite courses are Math 040, the basic algebra, Bio 109, Anatomy and Physiology 1, and Physics 185, Introduction to Physics. Your sciences must be completed within the past five years. For the Dental Hygiene program, program's application also opens on October 15th, and the deadline to apply is February 1st. 
This is a fall admission program. Your GPA for admissions eligibility is a 2.5. The prerequisite courses for the dental hygiene program are Math 040, Basic Algebra, Bio 109, Anatomy and Physiology 1, and Chem 112, which is College Chemistry. All of your prerequisites must be completed before the application deadline of February 1st. And again, your sciences must be completed within the past five years. Next, we have radiography and the respiratory therapy program. For the radiography program, the application opens on October 15th and the deadline to apply is February 1st. You are allowed to be in progress with your prerequisite courses for the radiography program but they must be completed prior to your potential acceptance to the program. Your prerequisite courses are Math 040 and Bio 109. Again, that is Basic Algebra and Anatomy and Physiology 1. The GPA for admissions eligibility is a 2.5. Your sciences must be completed within the past five years. For the Respiratory Therapy Program, this is also a fall admission program. The application opens October 15th, and the deadline to apply is February 1st. You are allowed to be in progress with your prerequisite courses for this program, but they must be completed prior to your acceptance to the program. The sciences must be completed within the past five years. The prerequisites for respiratory therapy are Math 040, Basic Algebra, Bio 109, Anatomy and Physiology 1, and Chem 112, which is College Chemistry. Med
psychology. Okay. <clears throat> Next, we have the paramedic science program and the veterinary technology program. For the paramedic science program, the application opens on October 15th, and your deadline is February 1st. This is a fall admission program, and your GPA for admissions eligibility is a 2.5. There are several prerequisite courses that you are allowed to be in progress with, but they must be completed before your potential acceptance to the program. I will clarify them for you. The first is Math 100 elective. It can be any 100 level math course. You have Bio 109, this is Anatomy and Physiology 1, Bio 209, Anatomy and Physiology 2, Psych 101, which is Introduction to Psychology, Psych 201, which is Child Psychology, Soch 101, Introduction to Sociology, Writing 101, English Composition 1, Writing 201, English Composition 2, or Writing 202, which is Technical Writing. All of your science courses must be completed within the past five years. For the Veterinary Technology Program, the application opens July 15th and the deadline to apply is October 1st. This is a spring admission program. The GPA for admissions eligibility is a 2.0. There are several prerequisite courses for the Veterinary Technology Program. You are allowed to be in progress with these courses, but they must be completed prior to your acceptance, potential acceptance to the program. The first is Math 040, which is your basic algebra. Vet 115, which is your vertebrate AMP1. You have Vet 102, which is Intro to Veterinary Tech. Vet 103, which is Vet Medical Terms. Or medical terminology. You have Chem 112, which is your college chemistry course, and Writing 101, which is English Composition 1. Lastly, we have the Medical Office Assistant Program and the Health Science Program. For the Medical Office Assistant Program, there is no application deadline. There's no deadline date for admission. The program admits for both fall and spring terms. The GPA for admissions eligibility is a 2.0, and you need to have at least a high school diploma or GED. For the health science program, to be eligible to apply to this program, you must have a license and or certification in a health-related field. The application deadline for this program is both February 1st and October 1st because it is a fall and spring admission program. The GPA for admissions eligibility is a 2.5. Now I will be discussing the health profession program for the one-year certificate program. The first is surgical technology. The college substitution course is Bio 109, which is anatomy and physiology. This course is highly recommended to be taken prior to your application to the program. The application opens every year on October 15th, and the deadline to apply is February 1st. The GPA for admissions eligibility is a 2.0, and this is a fall admission program. Next, medical office administrative program. The prerequisites for this program, you need to have at least a GED or be a high school graduate. There is no application deadline, no deadline date for admission. This program admits for both fall and spring semester. For the radiation therapy program, to be eligible to apply to this program, you must be a registered or registry eligible radiologic technologist. The GPA for admissions eligibility is a 2.5. Your prerequisite courses are Bio 109, which is AMP1, Bio 209, which is Anatomy and Physiology 2, Math 150, which is Statistics, Math 160, which is Intermediate Algebra, Math 180, which is Pre-Calc, Physics 185 is your Introduction to Physics, Writing 201 is English Composition 2, and COM 100 is Speech Communication. The application deadline for this program is February 1st. To revisit the more specific admission requirements for the health profession program, firstly, you must be in good academic standing when applying to one of the health profession programs. 
you must have at least the admissions eligible GPA requirement, which you can reference again throughout the presentation. All prerequisites should have a grade of at least a C or better. It is very important for you to meet with your academic counselor to make sure that you are completing all of the required prerequisite courses and that you know the or adhere to the specific deadlines for submitting your application. Attending a health information session is equally important and mandatory. Uh, the health information sessions provide you with the opportunity to meet with the faculty within the program and the directors of the program, learn more, again more about the entrance requirements and some of the admissions process, and have any questions that you have answered at the actual information session. Lastly, most importantly, again, you need to adhere to all deadlines for making sure that you're completing your entrance requirements in a timely manner and submitting your application. The admissions requirements continued. So all remedial courses must be completed before applying to one of the health profession programs. For the remedial courses, we have EBS, which is our English placement, ALP program, which is the American Language Program, Math 011, which is basic math, and Math 040 or 048, which is your basic algebra. These courses are dependent upon your results from the AccuPlacer placement exam. The science courses must be completed within the past five years. The science courses must be a four-credit course accompanied by a lab. The minimum grade that you can receive in any of your science prerequisite courses is a C. Admissions exams. So for the degree health profession programs, there are admissions exams for eligible applicants. The first, the HESI exam, which is the Health Education Systems Incorporated exam, is for the dental hygiene, diagnostic medical sonography, veterinary technology, radiography, and respiratory therapy program. The TEAS exam, which is the test of essential academic skills, is for the nursing program. Lastly, the EMT skills audit, this is specifically for the paramedic science program. These exams and the skills audit are administered after a student applies to one of the health profession programs. The admissions committees will send eligible applicants the next steps through email. The criminal history background check, known as a CHBC, is only for eligible applicants. Again, further information will be sent to the eligible applicant by the admissions committees. The criminal history background check must be completed online. If a student receives positive results, they will be deemed ineligible for any of our health profession programs. 